Welcome back. We're continuing our series with our breathing exercises. I'm Andrale Horn and uh, this is my uh, wife Noelle Lee. Uh, she's being my teenage friend today and because uh, these exercises that we're doing are they're geared toward teens and uh, younger kids but they also can be done by adults also and so what we're going to do now are two more breaths One's called the stress breath and the other one is called the Bigfoot breath, okay? And so to do the stress breath, you're going to come into a nice comfortable seated position. You can put your hands on your knees or, or and make your spine uh, straight. And what you're going to do is slightly close the back of your mouth. And then uh, when you inhale, you're going to inhale through your nose as deeply as possible, making the breath audible. You're going to hold the breath. And once you hold the breath, you lock your chin to your chest and you hold that for three seconds. And then as you breathe out, you're going to slowly raise your head and look up toward the sky. Okay? Or up toward the ceiling if you're inside. So here we go. And we're going to breathe in. Hold the breath. And gently breathe out as you look up toward the ceiling. And once again, breathing in, making the sound as audible as possible. Holding the breath and locking the chin to the chest. Holding it for a couple of seconds and then breathing out, looking up toward the ceiling. And we're going to do three more of these. And I would suggest, if you can, doing up to about seven of these at one time. Uh, and if you feel comfortable doing seven, you can do 10 or 12. So, but whatever's comfortable for you, uh, being able to do as many as you feel comfortable. Uh, the stress breath, what it really does is it also helps improve digestion and it helps raise the body temperature. So if you're cold, this is a good breath to use, okay? I think so. Oh, that's good. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do, uh, let's do five uh, stress breaths and then we'll do the uh, Bigfoot breath, okay? And so mostly I'm going to be guiding you through them and uh, not doing them with you, okay? Okay, so we begin by sitting in a comfortable upright position, okay? And closing the back of your mouth slightly. And as you breathe in, making the noise, uh, sound as loud as possible. Holding your breath, locking your chin to your chest for about three seconds and then slowly breathing it out as you look up toward the ceiling. We're gonna do four more. Inhale all the way and as you're inhaling, you can imagine that you're breathing in clear energy. And then as you lock your chin to your chest, feel that energy moving all the way through your whole body. And as you breathe out, you're breathing out any negative energy that may be in your body. Three more. Breathing in through your nose, locking your chin to your chest, noticing that breath moving through your body, and then exhale, looking out up toward the ceiling. Two more. One more. And just taking a couple of regular breaths just to feel the effect of what we call the stress breath. And you can tell that that was an audible breath, so you really want to Make sure that you're making that noise as you're breathing in, okay? And so the next breath... I, I, I feel less annoyed. You feel less annoyed? <laughs> <laughs> we are all cooped up together right now, right? right. <laughs> so this is good. So these, doing these breaths is a way to help calm 
you and your family members. And uh, so you can do them by yourself or you can do them with your family if you can get them to do them with you. My kids are not doing this with us. Uh, they refuse to do that, but that's okay. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so the next uh, breath that we're going to do is called the Bigfoot breath. And it's mostly because of the sound that you're making as you uh, do the breath. It sounds as if uh, uh, Bigfoot, you're hearing B Bigfoot run through the woods. And so how you do the Bigfoot breath is you will clench your teeth together and keeping your mouth open as much as possible. Yes. Okay. And you're going to suspend your tongue so that it's not in the roof of your mouth or it's not touching the bottom of your mouth. And as you inhale, you're going to make this sound as if you're breathing through the back of your mouth. Okay. As you breathe in, you go, it's going to sound like something like this. Go. And you hold the breath for three seconds and then exhale through your nose. So this breath initially, it can be difficult, so it may cause you to cough. Okay, so if you cough, just go ahead and cough and clear it all out. And uh, what it's really good for, it's good for bringing cool air into the body. And it's really good for uh, insomnia. Uh, and if you have a lot of congestion in your lungs, it's really good for helping expel that congestion in your lungs. Like right now, just doing that breath, I feel like I have some that I need to go. <coughs> And it also, you know, if you're having an asthma attack, this, this helps control the asthma attack. So that's something to be aware of. So how we begin is clenching your teeth together with your mouth open. This time? So we're going to do five, okay? Cool. Okay, dope. So we're going to clench our teeth together, keeping your mouth open, and suspending your tongue in between your roof of your mouth and um, the bottom of your mouth. And you're going to inhale through your teeth, making a, as much noise as possible. Four more. And breathing out through your nose. Breathing it all the way out, really pulling your belly button into your spine, and again. <coughs> Two more. Really filling up those lungs, breathing in as much as you can, holding the breath, closing your mouth, and breathing out through your nose. And just taking three regular breaths to notice the effects of the Bigfoot breath. All right, so thank you once again for joining us. Uh, you can look for more of these videos as we uh, go through this uh, quarantine uh, with the uh, coronavirus. And so thank you once again. Bye-bye.